Yo guys, what's happening? Welcome back to Rule of Two Review. Today, let's talk a little bit about this potential Zelda delay. So I guess it's not completely fair to call this a delay, because as we understand it, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which was delayed into 2017, has never officially been given a release date within 2017. Um, a lot of us, myself included, definitely assumed that the game was going to launch in March, right alongside the Switch. Um, the last time Nintendo even talked about Zelda, the Switch was actually still the NX, so we didn't even know 100% if the NX at that time was even going to release itself in March. So there were all these questions about, will the NX officially come out in March? Will Zelda Breath of the Wild launch with the NX, you know, the then NX? And if it doesn't, is it going to be released so much later? Is the Wii U version going to come out earlier, or are they going to reverse that? It was a, it was a big mess. It's kind of been a big mess. And now here we are where a lot of rumors, like I said, are starting to point to potentially the game not making it to the launch of the Switch. Of course, the good news is that we do know the Switch is officially confirmed to still be coming out in March. That was one of the best things that happened with the reveal trailer. I was actually kind of surprised because I sure was getting worried that the console was going to be delayed past March. That was going to be really, really sad. But we know that that's coming out in March and now there are reports coming from Eurogamer, and we all know Eurogamer had the crazy rumors about the NX being a screen that docks with breakable controllers and this whole thing, and of course, it turned out to be true. So there's definitely a little bit of reliability coming from Eurogamer, if you have to be honest about it. Um, also, there's a person I'm sure a lot of you know on Twitter uh, whose name is Emily Rogers, and of course, Emily Rogers also is now basically confirming this. I believe that what's being said is they're is some sources who are close to Eurogamer and close to Nintendo and some people who are able to confirm that yes, a lot of what Eurogamer is saying about Zelda not making it to the launch of the Switch has some truth to it. It's very, very possible. What's interesting is what I kind of like about this and why I think I decided to go ahead and talk about this rumor is the fact that they cite the localization as the game as the main reason that it's taking Nintendo so long to get the game ready. And once the localization is done, which I think according to the rumor in the blog post, the localization is supposed to be done around, like, right around now, or even maybe just a couple of weeks ago. So it's either just finished localizing into English, or they're finishing it right at this current time that I'm talking to you guys and making this video. And then, of course, another several months of uh, QA testing, quality testing, is still needed. So what's interesting is that all kind of rings true. I mean, when we look at the scope of what Breath of the Wild is supposed to be, I would believe that localizing that game and all of the possible text that you could that you can run into throughout that entire game, all of the directions, all of the menus, all of the item and weapon descriptions, all whatever level of voice acting is in the game, whether it's just that small little narrator piece in the beginning or whether it's sporadic throughout the adventure that a lot of different people or narrators will talk to you with voice throughout the game, you know, all that stuff needs to be localized into other languages and you know most notably into English to release in the north in North America and in most countries across the world so I would believe that it would take a lot of time potentially more time than Nintendo was preparing for um, and if that's true I like the fact that they're going to take many months to quality test the game and make sure that there's no bugs that's what Nintendo does they release every game to the utmost standard and you better believe that their newest Zelda their first one in six five six years is going to have the same treatment and I think that that's great the best thing coming out of this is that it shows Nintendo is still on point saying we want to release the best product possible we're not going to release a broken game and start patching it you know if we can avoid it which they pretty much always have avoided we want to release the best game the way it's going to be for the entire length of the game the day it comes out. Splatoon is the exception because they added content to that game after release. They didn't necessarily fix the game uh, or fix broken aspects of the game. So of course that means according to these rumors, which of course it's still rumor, Nintendo will for sure confirm the release date for Breath of the Wild on January 12th on the Switch event. I know that that is going to be the day they will tell us for sure when the game's coming out. So until then, we'll have to treat this as the rumor that it technically is. And of course, that's what sucks about this rumor, is apparently Zelda won't come out in March like we were all expecting to be able to buy it with our brand new Switches, or for those who are going to just stick with the Wii U, to pick up their Wii U copy. Of course, the game still could release separately for both systems, where the Wii U and the Switch, the, the Switch version of the game have separate release dates. That might still happen, and... I would be kind of bummed because I want the Switch version to be the first one to release or for them to release at the same time, but whatever gets that game into people's hands, I mean, I'm totally fine with it. So that's what's unfortunate about this. But the really interesting part that kind of came along with this rumor is the talk that the new 3D Mario, which we know was the game, you know, one of the games featured in that Switch reveal trailer, would actually be the game set to release alongside the system. So instead of Breath of the Wild releasing and that new Mario coming out sometime later, 
This rumor says Zelda is going to be not releasing with the Switch and going to release maybe a couple of months later, and instead the new 3D Mario is going to be available alongside the Switch. So I have two feelings on that. One is... That's great news, for sure. I am so pumped for a brand new Mario game. I've been going through a Mario renaissance lately. I've been playing Sunshine and Galaxy 2 just randomly because I've missed Mario games. Then we saw this new Mario in the, in the Switch trailer, and I was like, oh my god, yes, a new Mario. It looks fantastic. I just I want to know what that game is and when I'm going to play it. So it's exciting to think, oh man, we're going to miss Breath of the Wild, but a new brand new Mario. That's fantastic. But there's kind of another feeling I have alongside of that, and that's that I don't even necessarily believe that. The gist of it is that I kind of find it hard to believe that this Mario is going to be ready to go in March when the Switch is going to launch. It is not impossible, so of course if it turns out to be true, A, I know that it's impossible that I'm wrong, and B, I would still be excited because I do want to play this game. But I just feel like with how long they've been working on Zelda, with Zelda being the main marquee title that they need to finally get out into people's hands after years of promising and waiting and trailers, I feel like Zelda is more the game that needs to release first, earlier for the Switch to help sell the console and just finally get this game done. And Nintendo's other huge mammoth franchise, the Mario franchise, I feel like it needs time to breathe after Breath of the Wild comes out. And so, not even to mention the fact that I think it's better for the release cycle of the Switch. I love the idea for Nintendo, as much as I as a gamer want every game all on the same day at the same time, if I was Nintendo, I would want Breath of the Wild to be able to release first, get people really excited about purchasing a Switch, finally play this game, which we know is going to be like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. It's going to be like the greatest thing ever. Make that your marquee Switch launch window title. Even if it takes, you know, two or three months to come out, it's still going to be a launch window game for the Switch at that point. I feel like you can still use that game to help sell a lot of Switches within the first couple of months. So get Zelda out first. And to me, this Mario, assuming it really wasn't ready to go, which I just can't possibly believe that that game is ready to go so soon. I feel like your Mario becomes your perfect holiday 2017 title for the Switch. And what's great about holiday next year is it's the first holiday after Nintendo launches their brand new next generation console. And because the console's releasing in March as opposed to the previous November, that means it's a shorter window from launch of Switch to holiday for Switch, which means you get, you know, between March... April or May, you get Breath of the Wild in that brand new Nintendo console, and then just eight or nine months later, you get that brand new Mario game for the holiday and whatever other titles Nintendo might have ready to go for that first holiday. You know, and of course, as I've said many times, E3 is going to be between these periods of launch of Switch and holiday for Switch. It's going to be, it could be just a great year. And so, it would be awesome, it, you guys, it would be so awesome if Mario actually did launch with the Switch. Whether it launched alongside Breath of the Wild, or whether Breath of the Wild was in fact delayed, or I shouldn't say delayed, but was in fact not making the launch, and instead we get that new 3D Mario. That would be great. It would sell a ton of Switches for Nintendo, it would be a fantastic game we all want to play, it would help satiate our need for all these other Nintendo games, but I feel like it's too many of Nintendo's big franchises all within that same period of time. I mean, unless the craziest thing happens, which is Mario launches with the Switch and Zelda ends up releasing all the way back to holiday. What if Zelda really needs all this time and ends up being the November holiday game for the Switch and for Nintendo? That would be insane. That would be three and a half year delay from the first time we would have seen the brand new Zelda in E3 2014. And then it took all the way until holiday 2017. How crazy would that be? And I don't really think that's going to happen, you guys. So, anyway, this is all interesting. I'm really just kind of speculating on conjecture. None of this is fact, as you, of course, know. I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you think that there's truth to Zelda not making the Switch launch? And if that's true, do you also think there's truth to Mario making the launch? Remember, I don't necessarily believe a lot of this or feel like it all makes sense, but any of it could be true or all of it could be true. I totally acknowledge. That's the weird thing about rumors is it's I can't concretely say it one way or another. Um, but I feel like I'm more inclined to believe that Zelda may not launch with the Switch than I am to believe that Mario is going to be ready for the launch of the Switch. But I sure hope I'm wrong. And I guess in a perfect world, maybe they both come out day one with the Switch. But I really would like for Zelda to launch with the Switch and for Mario to be that holiday game for the Switch. Oh my gosh, that would be so great for Nintendo. But it all remains to be seen. I guess we'll see how it all plays out on January 12th, 2017, when Nintendo finally tells us what the hell is going on with the system and all these games. So... Tell me what you guys think about the news about Zelda, Mario, Switch, the release, the launch, the delays, all this fun stuff. What do you think about it all? Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in. This is Rob of Rule to Review, and I'll catch you guys next time on another video.